Hello everyone, George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape, and today I want to take you into my shop and show you some of the cool things that we set up in here. So, first off, my son's studying to be an electrician and my son-in-law's an electrician. Those guys did something really cool for me. They put new lights in my shop, so I'm going to show you that first. All right. Look at those beauties. Awesome lighting. Awesome lighting in the shop. I can't remember what he said these things were, but boy, I'll tell you what, they're a lot brighter than my old ones. These are the old ones here, <coughs> and they were starting to go out, the ballasts were going on and whatnot, but huge difference. They're supposed to be way more cost effective, and uh, things are freaking awesome. Second thing I want to show you guys, now I used to have a chain hoist in the shop here that we did for, uh, you know, that we used for pulling up our mowers, and it used to be right up here, okay? Look at this nifty little setup that I set up, and I really want to show you guys this, especially you lawnmower guys, because I want you to see how this thing is set up, all right? So, that being said, I want to show you how it works first off. I'll find my little gadget here, and I'll tell you guys. So it's basically a winch, it's a 2,500 pound winch, and it, uh, it's, it's very easy to operate. I got this thing from Harbor Freight, I believe, of all places. Okay, this way. So, you just take this little remote, hold the button on it. So basically what I did with this one is I set up a safety chain. All right, so you guys see where that one's attached up there? So once I, I lower, lower this one down farther, I'll let that run all the way down to the mower, hook on the mower and raise it up. Once I get it raised up, then I'll hook this on and then I lower it down so both of these have the equal amount of tension on them. So they both have the same amount of tension on these things, okay? So that being said, let me hook this back up. Give me a second here. Put that there. Well, maybe not. Put that here. I gotta maybe. All right, there we go. Stay still. Oops, wrong way. God damn it! Come here. Let me get it up this way. Get it up a little bit, and then it will stay in there. Chains up out of the way, you can walk underneath it. Pretty slick. Now I'm gonna get up in this contraption and show you guys kind of how I put this thing together. Because it's DC volts on that. When you get it, it's more like for a four-wheeler or something, you know? But let me show you how this works. Let me see if I can remember how this works. Maybe I gotta go this way. All right, so now I'll go up. Oh, this way. Okay, let me see if I can get a little bit higher. Can't go too much higher, but just so I can show you guys what I did. So basically, what I did is I've got my winch right here. So I'm, I bolted this in, I put some extra support beams. Hey, there's two wrenches I left up here. Damn it, I wondered what happened to them. Good thing I come up here. All right, so we got those. I took an old battery box or for a, a boat and I just went and I bought this cheap little battery, 30 bucks and uh, you know, just a little lawnmower battery basically. And uh, I put it in here, I hooked this directly up to the winch, and then I thought, okay, well, that'll run on the battery, and the battery will probably last a long time. However, what if I took a little trickle charger that you have here, and I hooked that up to it by these little alligator clips that are here, 
All right, so I hooked that up that way, and I thought, you know what? Then I'll just run that wire over there, put a little extension cord on it, then this thing will stay charged all the time. See what I mean? So, that's so far has been the plan, and so far, it's worked pretty good. So, again, safety chain right here, so that in case this cable would break. Now, it's 2,500 pound capacity, but you never trust that stuff. Always good to have a safety cable on there, some sort. So I put the safety chain on. That way I'm distributing the weight both ways. And uh, you hook it up here. This little box came with the winch. So hook that up, put your battery up here. Got a little charger, like I said, hooked up right here. So that'll keep it charged so I don't have to get up here anymore. I just hooked it up to uh, a little cord on the wall. I think it's slick as shit. Not to mention the view up here is not that bad. Hmm, interesting. Yes, interesting. So, who do I trust? I trust me. Al Pacino. However, wow, the view up here is certainly terrific. I don't remember this view being this good from up here. My goodness. That's the look my wife gives me like every time when I come home after bar close. It's like, what were you doing? That type of thing. So anyway, I can only use the pastor and I were helping to clean the church pews out there till four in the morning. I can only use that so many times before she just says, no. Nope. So this was back in my racing days. And oh my goodness, the boys lived and died by that one. But anyway, what an interesting view. Hmm. I just wanted to show you guys, maybe we have a couple of bucks that we still have yet to get mounted up. And we got to get working on those. But we just had a party. So we got all our tables there. We got our chairs over there on that side. And I just wanted to take the time and show you guys just a few of the finer things that, uh, you know, I'm putting this stuff together. And hopefully you guys found that entertaining. And it's really slick for working on your mowers and such. So that being said, you guys, I hope that uh, you have found this video somewhat entertaining. What I really wanted to do was show you guys this because it works slick as hell. The chain hoist also works, but I think this is a lot slicker. It's a lot more efficient. So hopefully you could put it to use. It's just an idea. It's something we did in our shops and we like it so far. So anyway, this has been George Packer. Don't forget to leave me your comments down below and any video ideas that I haven't done that you'd like me to do. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Okay, guys, I forgot to tell you something. I wanted to show you this winch. We got these winches at Harbor Freight, and they had them there for like 50 bucks. So they had them on sale for 50 bucks. I thought that was pretty sweet. So I'm just going to show you guys what it is, and if you guys want to get one and you want to do this, well, I'll have to it. Okay, that's what they are. They're uh, Badland, Badland winches. All right, so 2,500 pound capacity. That's what we use. I wouldn't get a smaller one because uh, when I did put my mower on this and, and I lifted it, the uh, it was you know it was not underpowered. It did it just fine. But I think that if I would have had a smaller one, I don't think it would have done it just fine. So anyway, that being said, guys, I just want to share that with you. So and one more thing, all total combined with the cost of that winch was fifty bucks. The battery was thirty dollars and electrical cord was like five bucks you know so you got 85 maybe 90 dollars tops into everything with the fasteners and whatnot you know even if you had a hundred dollars into it that's still a cheap fix you know that's still a cheap fix to have something like that um the last chain hoist that i had in here was 150 bucks or 140 or something like that so you know this obviously works better for us and it's a new thing we're trying so thanks